What I eat in a day, obesity promoter that eats 20,000 calories a day, brother. She's eating an entire elephant. And broccoli. <sighs> Why does this cat look Chinese? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, this fat acceptance always gives me diarrhea, man. Fat accept painful TikTok cringe compilation. Ah! Very painful. Let's roll. So that's fat phobic. I didn't even say anything. <laughs> the video begins. This is fat phobic, bro. I didn't do anything. People will stare at me when I eat. Uh, you can talk, right? You have a microphone. <laughs> Buy the text. Is that a KFC bucket? <laughs> What I ate in a day, unhealthy version. Damn, I mean, she isn't fat, though. I'm sure you already know where this is going. Oh my god, bro. It's one of those, bro. It's one of <laughs> Shit. Why is she triggered, guys? Let's see. This beautiful young woman gets comments like these. She's my type. Can you tell me how you do that? You're so beautiful. While I, after eating a healthy breakfast, get comments like that. Don't sit there and tell me that I should lose weight. Oh my god, brother. Is she really pulling this, bro? She shows one girl eating fast food and then she's like, I'm eating a healthy breakfast. Okay, but what did you have for lunch? What did you have for dinner? What did your week of eating look like? Is it always healthy breakfast or some random bullshit fruit loops? You're being a fat phobic McDick. And she thought this is a good insult. <laughs> that, that's the worst thing, bro. She thought, brother, I fucked his mother with that one. Absolutely not. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fat shaming and skinny shaming are the same. Actually, no, they're not. Fat people are denied jobs, proper medical care, health insurance. They're paid less. They don't have equal access. Even the body mass travel is mentioned in the Holy fucking shut the fuck up! Holy shit, bro! Okay, okay, stop, stop. When is the last time that you've been penalized financially when an aircraft seat had to be accommodated to your small? Penalized financially. Excuse me, sir. You're so fat. You take up two seats. You need to buy the second one. Oh my god, I'm penalized. Yeah, if you are so obese that you take up two seats. Nice rhymes, man. You need to pay for the second seat. That's not discrimination. That's just how the world works. No, you're not fat. You're beautiful. Yes, I'm both very beautiful and fat. No, you are a thick, curvy, fluffy. Please stop doing this. I know you mean no harm, but fat is an inoffensive term. Why is she talking with herself, though? <laughs> Me when I have schizophrenia be like No, you're not fat, you're beautiful More unbalanced, no pants dancing since it makes the fat folks mad Damn, you really showed them She naked? What the hell is that? Oh, okay <laughs> What the hell? How is this allowed on TikTok, bro? Come on, man Fat bitch, what do you weigh, like 200 pounds? There's no way you think I'm that skinny. 200 pounds. How much is it in kilograms? 90 kilograms, brother. No one's saying that. <laughs> I'm sorry. No one's saying that, bro. I weigh 90 kilograms. I am very fat and I am 100% glorifying obesity. Oh my, the poor plant, bro. Is she stepping on the plant? Perfect. Hello. The plant is hurting. Hello. So I walk past my dad, right? And he goes, low? <laughs> the hell was this laugh, bro? <gasps> Okay, so, um, as a community... You already know she's gonna have the most bullshit opinion when her TikTok begins with, okay, so, um, as a community... We are no longer posting before and after photos. Everybody knows that, right? And if you have, that's okay. I'm not here to shame you, but I am here to help educate you. Before and after photos, especially on a weight loss journey, are incredibly problematic for the rest of the community. <laughs> You are simply stating that the before photo, the fat body that you lived in before, is not good. And that the thin body that you have after is good. The fat body is not worthy, but the thin body is. So Why always worthy, bro? Why do they always have to pull this as if you think someone who's fat is just a lesser person, you know? You just don't deserve to live. Why is it always like that? Why is it always black and white? You deserve to live. You don't deserve to live. Yeah, if you're very, very fat, that is not good. If you're losing weight and you put a before before and after photo i mean it's also like motivation if you see someone who's like 500 kilograms and he loses all of it maybe you think to yourself oh brother if he did it maybe i can too maybe i can change too a little bit and be a bit healthier that's the point of before and after photos you know it's kind of like when someone is addicted to drugs and he has like a little pin that says oh 10 year clean of heroin or some shit like that instead of saying oh man that's that's pretty good that's a good uh, motivation for people who are addicted to drugs you're saying yeah but uh, so what so if you're addicted to drugs this means that i'm less 
because of a person I'm not worthy. You know what I mean? It's always uh, they're always black and white thinking. It's pissing me off. It literally harms the most marginalized in this community. Marginalized? Oh my god! Look at me! I'm such a victim. Help me! Stop <laughs> doing it! Stop screaming! What the hell is that, bro? She's screaming at me. Hello! I'm also marginalized. <laughs> always had really beautiful friends, and we all know that pretty privilege is real. So I would see also this pretty privilege. Like the thing is, she isn't even lying. Like welcome to the real world. Pretty people get treated better because they look better. Yeah, she isn't wrong. But the thing is, the way they're always saying it, it's just so whiny, bro. Oh, the pretty privilege. They're fucking doing this oppression Olympics. You know what I mean? It's always like so whiny, bro. So I'd like to educate everyone and give four. Oh my god, bro, you already know it's a shit video when they come with the fucking educating, man. Education, okay, bro. More facts about bodies. Fact number one, thin bodies can be healthy. We widely weaponize that fact. Weaponize, man, it's a fucking nuclear bomb. Fact number two, fat bodies can be healthy. I think a couple people need some time to let that sink in. Oh. Whoa, where is the education, bro? What is educating when you say some people are healthy, some people are not? Where's the, where's the education? I don't get it, bro. I have always been active. I have done sports as a kid. I have done theater for 18 years of my life, singing, dancing, and acting, usually all at the same time i don't have diabetes i don't have any other um underlying health issues oh, but, but. Just because you're active doesn't mean that you're also healthy. If you're eating 6,000 calories per day, you can do your theater and singing and dancing all you want. You're probably not gonna burn that much. The number one thing that you need to change to lose weight or to gain weight is always the amount of food you eat. I mean, it's also a sign how overly much you have to eat to still gain weight, although you have a pretty active lifestyle. Goddamn. Help me get back on... A the breathing, man. The breathing is always such a sign that, brother, something is going wrong in my life. I mean, she's just standing there. <gasps> you know what I mean? When you start sounding like Darth Vader just standing around, you know it's time to lose a bit of weight, bro. We all know skinny people. the hell is Jeremy Fragrance doing, bro? <laughs> <laughs> we all know skinny people who eat a ton of food and never seem to gain weight. So why do we have such a hard time believing that there are plenty of fat people in our lives who don't overeat, who don't ever lose weight? Oh my god! Because it's impossible to eat nothing and still gain weight. Hello? Do you understand physics? Hello? I already told you once the reason why some skinny people seem to eat so much but not gain weight is because the whole mountain of food that they're eating in one sitting is the only thing they're eating this entire day and if you see a fat person who eats nothing but still gains weight it's because they might not eat anything in front of other people but when they're alone at home in the middle of the night they eat 5,000 calories at once that's why that's why okay back in the day when I went to school I used to be awake at 5 a.m. I would go to school and return back home at around 4 p.m. and I didn't eat eat anything while I was in school. That's 11 hours of not eating anything. And you know what? I was still the fattest dude in the entire class because as soon as I came back home, I ate like 4,000 calories at once. So you would see me? Oh, brother, this dude isn't really eating anything. How is he fat? But you don't know what I do behind closed doors. And that's a lot of fat people. A lot of fat people are too ashamed to eat in front of other people. But when they're home alone, they just suck everything in that's what's going on and this is uh, this dude thinks he's right that's the worst thing bro Man.